Now, what if I told you that you can multiply the types of chords you can play many times over, but in order to do that, we have to forget this, this idea that we are building a chord on one, three, five, and seven from each note in the scale, but rather we are referring now to each of these notes as a slot. And in that slot, we can put whatever note we want. It's a pretty good sound. We can play a C with a flat six, or that you can call it a, a sharp five, whatever you want to call it. This is a voicing that you can use based on these drop chords. This is all drop two, by the way. I haven't, this is to say nothing of drop three, drop two and four, and drop two and three. This is just drop two. And, and for that matter, just on the middle four strings. Let's continue. So we said uh, the uh, flat 13, okay? So how do we get there? We took the seventh, lowered it down here. Instead of playing this, instead of, this is seventh. Great, dark, mysterious uh, sound, odd sounding chord. Can serve as a, as a C7. So in this case, I, I, I demonstrated the C7. Normally would play like a C7 flat nine to F minor. So here I did it with this kind of sound. And by the way, this is an inversion as well of F minor, F minor major seven in drop three. Never mind.